Hi everyone, Christina Nelson again here for the box reviewers and the box we have today is Quilty Box. We'll be unboxing Quilty Box and they have their cute little custom box here. Uh, label goes on the bottom so it doesn't mess up with their branding and they're at QuiltyBox.com. Now Quilty Box has sent me two boxes prior to this one and I did written reviews with uh, pictures for those but I do, I'm doing all video reviews from now on if at all possible. I mean sometimes there's boxes that come and it might be a little time sensitive and I have to hurry up and I can't always do videos because of you know kids and stuff so I try to do all my videos within one day um, every couple weeks just so I can get them all edited and out there so this is Quilty Box again I got two prior to this and I love it I do not have enough time to quilt right now but I am stockpiling all of this for next winter when I have the time um, and I have so many ideas not to mention just the stuff that comes in here you know you get a pattern too so when you open it you get this all right and right on top is the card and what they do every month is they have a featured artist so it's somebody who did the pattern and generally has not always but sometimes has things to do with the um, the fabric that was that's in here so either they design the pattern or they work with the company that that prints you know that makes the fabric and all that so it's really cool but this month they are featuring Alex Anderson Alex Anderson quilts.com or the quilt show.com uh, one of the most beloved and influential faces in quilting today Alex Anderson made her debut on the international quilting scene as the host of HGTV's long-running series simply quilts so she's um yeah she's on she's on the tv so you can watch her quilt gives you lots of information i knew that face looked familiar i used to watch simply quilts years ago when it was on um now she wa she has the quilt show it launched in 2007 it's the world's first full service interactive online video web tv created just for quilters worldwide that's awesome and then on the other side it gives you pictures and a list of the products, so we're just going to hide that. Actually, I'm just going to put it down here so I can read it. <laughs> All right. Oh, that's awesome! Okay, I can't, I'm not going to show the back because that's got a code, but thequiltshow.com is a subscription online web TV thing, and this is a gift certificate for one month free of the show. So that's awesome. It's got information on the back of how to redeem it. And you have a special code. So everybody that got the box gets the code. And you get a month of the quiltshow.com free. I'm going to hang on to that. That will come in handy. All right. So our pattern this month. Our pattern this month is called Bundles of Inspiration from Alex Anderson. It's May 2007. Okay. This gives a bunch of information about um, Alex and I'm trying to get to where the pattern is or is this not the pattern is this just the booklet this is just the booklet this is not a pattern okay usually there's a pattern I'm going to assume there might be one I don't know but it's got all kinds of information and inspiration in it it uh oh they have a special edition quilty box coming in June it's called color me confident Take a year-long journey through color theory with renowned quilting artist Ginny Beyer. It's a four-part series. Um, each of the four boxes contain a project, and all four boxes combined create a fifth project. So if you want to go and get that special quarterly quilty box, you'll get all four boxes throughout the year, but you sign up for it, I'm assuming, once. And um, you sign up for all four boxes, and it'll give you five projects at the end. So that's awesome. There is a coupon code, but it's only for Quilty Box subscribers. So if you're a subscriber and you got this month's box, or you're getting this month's box, then you have the code in your in your brochure. Do not throw these out. Always look through them. You never know what you're going to find. But that's pretty cool. What else is in here? And it shows you how to use um, a couple things in the box. I'm not going to show you what that is. And there's a subscriber spotlight. <gasps> oh, that's sweet. Bianca Duncan is a subscriber and she does YouTube videos, I'm assuming, of quilting. 
and um, they're they're highlighting her. So hey, if you're a longtime subscriber that does quilting online, you, there you go. You could be um, featured. And then a sneak peek. Next month we will be featuring Masako Wakayama, a classic American quilting expert from Kawasaki, Japan. Her work is exhibited all around Europe and Asia and is globally recognized for its beautiful, intricate, and detailed designs. American Country is her fabric line. And doesn't say anything else. That's all you get. But here's the sneak peek of June's box. So get in there and get yours. All right. So put this to the side. And it always comes just neatly wrapped up in white tissue paper. I like that. Everything's like tucked in and, you know, it's not just flopping in the breeze. <laughs> It's wrapped like a little burrito. <laughs> a quilting burrito. <laughs> okay. Oh, the fabric is so pretty. Mm. Okay, I'm going to control myself because you can't see that yet. All right, first up, we have Quilters Select Apple Stick. I don't know. Is this what I think it is? Apple Stick Tape. Okay. This very unique web was created especially for simplifying the applique process. One side of the web has a fusible coating and will go against the back side of your applique, applique material. The other side has a light sticky coating making the applique repositionable. Position your pieces as many times as you need. Once positioned, fuse into place. Add your favorite decorative stitch. Use the tape size version for quilt bindings or decorative trims and the convenient printable sheets make complex patterns a snap. Oh, that's cool. So if you're putting something on top of fabric that you don't want to have to sew a million places to, and you just want to do like an outside edge on it, um, something like a star. Let's say you want to slap a star on something and it's a, a, a applique of some sort, whether you made it or somebody else made it or it was a store bought one, and you just want it to stick to the fabric and you don't want to have to sew too much because it has a pretty edging or something on it, and you just want it to attach, you can use this tape and set it on the one side and then stick it where you want it and move it and move it until you get it to the right spot and then you iron over it to fuse it and then once it's all cooled off you can go through and just do a couple little stitches to have extra hold but this stuff will hold it that's cool I've never heard of that I mean I've used fusible web I've you know even used hem tape and stuff like that but this I like because you can reposition it before you fuse it and it'll, you know, you can stick and like hang it up and say, oh, does that look okay? Instead of having to, you know, do one of those things when you try to hang some up. That's cool. I like that. I can't wait to use it. That sounds like fun. All right. Next up we have, what is this? An applique pattern. Awesome. This is from Alex Anderson. I don't know what the pattern is. I'm afraid to open it because of the tape. I don't want to rip it. Let's, where am I? I think I have it. Okay, I think I have it. All right, let's see. Oh, that's so cute. Okay, here's the paper. I believe this is the same stuff as this, but it's the full sheet, so you can use what you need to. And the applique is ice cream cones! <laughs> so you can make your ice cream cones out of different fabrics. And then you can make your own applique and you can set it on top and there you go. I like that idea. And that gives you um, another way to use that sticky stuff. So it was Apple Web Plus is this one. And this is Apple Stick. Cool. All right, next up is, oh, you cannot, if you sew at all, you don't even have to be a quilter. If you sew anything at all, or craft with things, you cannot go wrong with any size of these. Because these rulers come in so handy because you can see through them, you know exactly where you need to put your marks, and it's just, I love these these rulers, these square rulers. Um, this is a five by five inch ruler uh, by Quilter Select. It's, it's a thick, thick plastic, and I appreciate that because there's a lot of flimsy ones out there that they're like, oh, well, you know, cause so you can put it anywhere. Yeah, but then it doesn't work right because it gets bent and warped and stuff. These are awesome. Thank you. Um, I have a little, like, I think mine's a three by three. And then I used to have a 12 by 12. This is like the perfect size for most of the crafting and sewing type stuff that I do. So thank you. 
Alright, let's... Ooh. Oh, these are beautiful. I've never seen these. Quilter Select. Two rolls of um, cotton thread. Or one is para, six, 80 weight para cotton. That's this one. 80 weight para cotton, 400 meter thread in the gray. Do, do they call it something? Just, can't seem to hold on to these. All right. It has a color number, it's not a name. And then this is the 60 weight, 400 meter perfect cotton plus thread. So they're both gray. This one's a little bit darker, and I'm going to switch sides with them so the lighting doesn't throw you off. But see, this one's the 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 color up here is basically the color of the thread, or pretty close to it. So that is cool. Two new colors of thread. I can always use thread, especially gray. Gray is like a big thing now, and I have gray everything, so that'll come in very handy. I'm going to set these fabrics over here so you can see them. And now we do have, oh, here's the pattern. This is the quilt you can make with the fabrics. Do you see these fabrics? Do you see these fabrics? They are bold, they're bright, they're pretty, they're not crazy. They're just, oh my gosh, so cute. So, so, so cute. I love it. And there's more applique for the center. See the center ones? So you get the the house and the flowers and the ladybugs. That is awesome. Oh, that pattern is so cute. Even without the applique, you could do a different color in the center that complements like kind of all of them and just have it as a quilt. But I like the outer edge idea. That's This is a simple quilt without the applique. Just don't even talk about the applique. Just the basic quilt itself is beautiful for beginners because you're just cutting little rectangles and sewing them together and then you just gotta find a centerpiece and then a back piece and the you know the batting and all that but this is a nice one for beginners you wanna go a little more extreme there you go so I've never done applique I may have to give it a try because I like that I really do like that awesome I love the pattern now you got a sneak peek of the fabrics there this is 10 fat quarters if you're a quilter a sewer or anything like that you know fat quarters are awesome perfect sizes for whatever project you got coming up this is all by Alex Anderson quilts this is called Mirage th this package of um, stuff if I can, it's by rjrfabrics.com I can't get it open it's tied too well I don't want to have to cut it. I like this little tape here. Hang on. Okay, I'm back. I I skipped me undoing all this because it was so tight. It took a little while. But this little tie thing, I love these fabric ribbons. And it says RJR Fabrics, which I don't care. I didn't realize it was tied on the bottom too. <laughs> but that's okay. I can. This one's a lot looser. I can get this one. So see, they package it so nicely. It's like its own little gift. And see, I will keep this and use it for other stuff. But these fabrics are gorgeous. Okay, here's the blue. And then we have a, oh, that one's unique. The green, a slight lime green with the uh, leaves. And then we have this very simple, closer to lime green one. Oh, oh, I love this one. I don't know why. But it's beautiful. See, I would try to cut these things out <laughs> and use them as the appliques. But the the little things would be a little hard to cut out. But oh, that's beautiful. All right. Oh, the leaves again. But now we have more blues and teals. Polka dots are always fun. See, they all go together. More leaves in orange and reds. Well, orangish. And leaves in red. And more polka dots. And this one I think is my favorite. I really think this one's my favorite. So I'm going to open it up so you can get it the full effect. Look at that. Isn't that adorable? Oh, it's gorgeous. Oh, <laughs> oh I love the the print on this. I don't know why. I've never been into, you know, this this kind of abstract stuff quite so much. 
It was beautiful. Now I have to open that other one that's this one because I want to see this full open. But also, for those of you that aren't quilters or don't, never used fat quarters before, this is a fat quarter. It's a little more than a quarter yard of fabric. That's why they call it a fat quarter. So look at that all the little flower. They almost look like little mandalas, which are very close to my heart. So awesome. Oh, I love all these fabrics. That is so cool. So Quilty Box, every single month, I love, 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 love their stuff. Especially all the fabrics. Um, their fabrics, I have not been disappointed yet. Again, this is box three. Never been disappointed. I have all these beautiful fabrics sitting around just waiting for me and my creativity to kick in and decide I may just actually do this quilt pattern, the, the simple one. Um, the appliques, I want to, I have an idea for something else, but I like the simple quilt pattern and I have these fabrics and I have the other fabrics from the other two boxes that I might be able to combine or maybe I'll just use this pattern with another box. But yeah, tons of ideas, tons of information. And um, I know, again, off the top of my head, I can't think how much the box is, but I know it's an amazing value for the money. Um, just walk into any Joann's and try to get some really nice fabric, fat quarters of a high quality fabric from a really reputable company and it's going to cost way more than this box and we got the fabric and all the accessories so quilty box is a really good deal get in now for the june box before you lose out um because i believe they sell out pretty fast i don't know if they ever officially sell out um some companies will like shut the doors and say okay we're done until we're ready again i think quilty box continues taking orders um, but at some point it's going to stop being for the next box and it's going to be the one for after that. So you have to wait longer, but yeah, get over to quiltybox.com and get yours because, um, yeah, I can imagine once this video gets out, people are going to be buying. <laughs> All right. You have a great day and I will see you next time. Bye.